Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Sunday, July 18th, 2021, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, one of our team members um, in Europe uh, was, uh, I guess you could call it beamed or uh, electric wave frequency and uh, very ill in the hospital over there with digestive problems and he's been in there for about three days now so and, and his name is Robin Roman solar Sarah and we would want to direct our energies uh, you know the gods that we are and the love that we are to his physical body so that it, uh, he's able to be well. And based upon that, this meditation is being directed towards all of those out there um, who are experiencing pain and suffering from uh, cross-contamination of this uh, vaccination that uh, has been perpetrated on the civilization. Uh, not only them, but all of the family members, all of the people planetary-wide who have and are dealing with losses and uh, loved ones leaving the bodies, and a culmination on the planet of the aftermath of the lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies. So this meditation is um, directed to all of them and anyone who's in this meditation who may be in physical disharmony. This covers everybody, uh, not just those from the, the cross-contamination, uh, but everybody who is in some form of fear, pain, or uh, anguish on this planet. So it's a, it's a, the energy is that we are, all of us, even those who are suffering, is omnipotent and all-powerful, and our intent is astronomical. Remember that our intent through our heart minds is omnipotently powerful and does not um, lose any strength or power when it is given. In fact, it intensifies and it expands. So what we're doing is we're flooding and saturating all of us with the deep eternal love that we all are from a healing perspective of the physical body and honoring the gods in each and every single one of us. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted and I'm sure that we all are and the first absolute first thing that we always care to do is to relax our bodies when you're carrying around stress and anxiety and fear and worry about many things in this physical world it's difficult to navigate for any of us um, it's very easy to step in that hole um, when your frequencies are up there and then you step in that hole and your frequencies just drop way down. And the key is, is to not engage. So the body is like a sponge. All of our bodies are like sponges, so we absorb all of this hecticness and disarray and energies and you know, how people are feeling and, and what's being projected uh, emotionally because we're all emotion, very emotional beings, so we're affected by it. So when we release this stresses and whatever it is we're carrying, and only you know what you're carrying. No one else does. So you just let it go. You're not interested in dragging it with you. And you also innately know that it doesn't serve you any good at all. You know, it's like we hang on to these things um, way too long. Yes, we experience them, and that's a good thing. 
But after we've experienced them, a lot of us will just keep hanging on to them and dragging them, um, which really, there's no reason to. I think it's just a lot of us, uh, if not all of us, have those habits where we just, you know, we hang on to things even though they're not that great. So when we let them go, and if you would, picture yourself in a hot air balloon. You've got the basket. And probably everybody on this call knows that, what it looks like and how it's designed. And in the bottom of the basket, pretty simple, there's these uh, little tie bags uh, that are uh, ballast weight. And you look at that as all the things you're carrying right in this moment, right in this now. All, all the things that you're dragging with you in this life that you know are heavy, that weigh you down, that cause stress, irritability, uh, hurriedness, fear, uh, all of that stuff. And you have the opportunity, and only you can do it uh, with yourself, to just let them go. You, you don't ignore them. You just face them. You give them a big hug, and you just say, I don't need you. You know, I appreciate the experience, but I don't need you. I don't need to carry you. So uh, I wish you to leave. And that's how you we cycle all of this goop that all of us attract and carry with us. And you'll know that as you drop it off and out of that basket, obviously it's going to rain. It's going to, it's going to ascend the basket, the balloon. And then you have the opportunity, you can stand on the ground and just look from the ground point of view, which is nothing like seeing it from above. Then you see the true beauty that you are. When you get in that balloon, you can go way up there. See, when you look at things, you know, you can say, you say to yourself, this is me. This is all about the God that I am. Everything is. It's not about my body. It's about the God that I am and the beauty that I am everywhere I look. And you'll be amazed because that falls away. Now, you may, have, you may choose to do it several times during the day, depending on how much it keeps creeping in. Okay. Because after a while, we're kind of like magnets, and we just it's just autopilot, and we just draw them in. Most of the stuff is just program thoughts that aren't even ours. So we bring that in, and we let it drop away, and the body becomes very light. It's not thinking. It's not worrying. It's not stressing. It's not fearing. It's just being. That's it. Total silence just being so once you do this and the body becomes light you move into the now and of course the now is important to all of us because it is all there is it is all that there ever has been ever will be ever beyond and forever the past doesn't exist it's dead and all of the things that we learned in the now, we learned, we have the experience, and the past is dead, all of it. So we don't, we, we don't embrace it. We've got, it's gone. Now, the future, we're creating it in the now. So that's why there's no reason. Why would we wander into the future that doesn't exist? But we do. It isn't a bad thing, but, you know, it's like when we get anxious and we want to know why this and why that and why this and why that. And how come this and how come that? But it, that, that doesn't do anything. It's frustration. More of those lower fr frequencies. So we stay in the now. And the nice thing about the now is it stills the ego, the mind, and the subconscious mind, which means we step outside of them. They're no longer guiding us, so to speak, and directing us, which is crazy because as masters, they're just really not good. Servants, they're great. So when we step outside of them, we're able to watch them, not judge them. We watch them. Watch how the ego operates, how the mind operates. See, because you're not thinking. You're not worrying. You're not stressing. You're not fearing. That's all the external world. It's the physical world, the, the material world. That's the distraction for all of us. Now, some of us will go into the past and we'll stay there 
We stay there. It's like an elephant graveyard. But to some people, that's safe to be there for them. So they hold on to it. And they stay there so long that they drag it into a future that doesn't exist. They create that future from that past and they relive that future, that past and that future. That's why so many people will say to themselves that we, wherever, wherever we, we do, we seem to always end up here. But how do you stay in the now? Well, your breath, your divine positive energy. And your breath is super powerful. A lot of us take it for granted. But it is the all that there is while we're in these bodies. So when you focus on your breath, it brings you right into the now. And you, every single time you do it, you will be in the now. Even, even if you find yourself doing it 100 times a day, you're in the now. Because we have all these program thoughts, tens of millions of them, that pull us away. And we're all, none of us are exempt from it. We just get pulled away off into these thoughts, and we're like boom, 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 boom. And, and there's this kind of a feeling that you, nah, this isn't my thought. What am I doing? Why am I, why am I following this? Why did I grab onto it? And so the thought, the, the way, the, then you say, well, wh- well how do I, when do I, when do I generate my thoughts? You generate your thought from the heart mind. And then the thought directs the mind and the ego. Okay? You remind yourself that you are always humble. Not weak, okay? not complacent, but humble. That you're always generous, kind, gentle with yourself. Imperative. So when you really know this innately, that you can always focus on your breath and you'll be in the now. Very, very, very powerful. So when we look at, the, at this planet, at this time, in this now, all of our brothers and sisters, all life, the highest supreme value in the universe, and we, we all know that there's suffering, and there's pain, and there's sorrow, and there's anguish, and there's greed. I, I don't think any of us aren't aware of that, and there's manipulation, deceit. But we know the difference between the high frequencies and the low frequencies. It's not tough to understand that. So we all feel all of those on this planet that are suffering. And we don't, that isn't a natural state for any of us. We did not come here to suffer. We came here to enjoy this life, to be in bliss and happiness. We did not come here for what been, we've been confronted with for so long. So as we are in the now and our bodies are relaxed and we are with the God within us, we know that we are the light, that there, is, there isn't a light that we follow, that we are the light. And we have learned to shine our light outward 360 degrees everywhere on this planet on it, in it, above it, and below it. The lights, the colored lights that we talk about are to identify the energy, the pure, deep, eternal love that we are. So, if you will, all of us together, hundreds of millions of us in this meditation, to focus our attention, our heart minds, on all the pain and suffering, all those who have been vaccinated, all those who have not, all the worry, the stress and the fear and the anxiety that has been churned on this planet intensely for the last couple of years. And we focus this because we connect, understand we are all one. We are the God. All of us, we are parts of the one. So we are never disconnected and we are never separate. 
many of us look at, you know, we look at the body and we, we, we identify and judge the body as that God, and it isn't. So picture, visualize through your heart mind. this massive ball attached to the top of a crystalline light chamber, a column, if you will. And it's massive and it covers the whole solar system. And it also, not only that, it houses crystalline light chambers in it. These chambers are prepared to receive all of those who are in pain and suffering on this planet. And it's kind of like a, a, a God light ship, okay, that is over the planet. And we are the God. And our bodies are the ship. So immediately we focus and we call upon all those who are consciously aware. In other words, somewhat awake, that they are of and from the highest, the deepest, 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 purest, 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 eternal love, and of and from the deepest, the highest, highest, highest of the deepest, 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 purest, 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 eternal gratitude, and the highest of the highest, high, deepest, 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 purest, 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 eternal peace. such as all the light energy beings and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever on this planet, on it, in and above it, and everywhere. Yet, only those who are consciously aware that they are of, of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude can be with us in this meditation, in this now. Now, they come in the Googleplexes. Understand, Googleplex will fill this entire universe with no sacred space to spare. They come in trillions of Googleplexes from trillions of universes, extensions of all universes, here now. The ones on this planet, the ones, the many that we don't see because of the eyes that we have with these bodies, we only see 1% of what is on this planet while in these bodies. fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the trolls, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, ether, wood, the mermaids, the dolphins, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, and many, many, many more. And they are all with us consciously now. in this bowl, in this column, actually over this planet, above it, below it, in it, around it, all the off-worlders, all the galactics, and all the celestials. Yet only those that are awake that are consciously aware that they're of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude can be with us in this meditation. And the ones that we're familiar with, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Andromedans, the Zeta Reticuli, Feline, Nords, Greys, Draco, Reptilian, Golden Pyramid, Avion, many, many, many more. They've been assisting us in our evolution, 
enlightenment, ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. Now understand, this is the body, it's not the God. And they are with us now, consciously. It's a vast ocean that is assembled and this focus on this quadrant of this Milky Way galaxy in this solar system on the outer rim in this planet Earth Gaia Aria in this now. See this through your heart mind's motion picture and feel it in your heart mind. Witness it and be it as well. All the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, and garth and beneath earth. Again, we are all one, so there are parts of us that are asleep. So they won't hear or participate, but they are still parts of us. And only those that are consciously aware that are parts of us will be with us in this meditation. And they come in the billions and they are with us consciously. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this life and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Again, yet only those who are consciously aware that they're of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. can be with us in this now, in this meditation, assisting all of our brothers and sisters. And they are with us consciously. The archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, the ascended masters, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh. Gaia, St. Germain, Christ, El Moria, Bandantia, Pell, Thoth, Yala, Yeshua, many, many, many more. Both of them are consciously aware that they're of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. Those that aren't are still with us, but not consciously. Now, the, the archangels are a civilization that vibrate at a different frequency than we do, so we don't see them like we see each other. We feel them. We meet with them. We cross each other's paths. And they always have the same message, but it's, it's delivered in numerous ways. Is that it is absolutely magnaglorious to be alive in these bodies, right in this now. No matter what's going on out in the storm, we are always in focus, always in the center. We are always on the center path, not the left, not the right, but the center. Now, the archangels can surround any one of us at any one time in the tens of thousands because of their vibrational frequency. They can house a large number in a small area. The ascended masters have mastered ascension into physical form, out of physical form, hold pure consciousness, God form. We are mastering these bodies, these physical forms, the ego, the mind, all of it. And we're creating our experiences just like now. We are creating our experiences so we can perfect our creation. You can feel everyone, all the parts of us, all here, expanding throughout all the universes, focused on this planet. And you can see it and feel it right now because you can feel the wave, the energy, the frequency of the highest of the highest high of the one God of which you vibrate that same frequency within those bodies. You never don't. It never stops vibrating. 
It is the deepest, 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 the purest, purest, purest love. And we're all teaching each other, and we're all learning from each other. So we immediately send a golden pink light thread. It is unbreakable. It is super powerful. It is immeasurable in its power. And from this God-like ship that we all are together with, these threads come down and literally encase into these beautiful golden white pink light bubbles that they're encased in. And it pulls all of them, it, 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 it literally levitates all of them into a crystalline light chamber. And you can see, we see because we're all part of them, they are all part of us, we witness now as we release the God force love light energy all at once from all of us into all of their bodies and all of their fears and all of their worries and all of their suffering and all of their pain and all of their anguish is vaporized. And we watch, we're watching this because we are obviously part of it. And everywhere around us, everywhere we're looking, there's no darkness or sacred space. There's the sacredness of the God light energy is all that you see everywhere. And it's a shimmer and a sparkle. It's trillions of different colors. The emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, the white fire light the uh, violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael, the purple transmuting flame, the violet ray, the golden white pink light, these are all combined. It's almost like opal essent light energy. And it's happening right now. And it's cascading through us all, above and below. We are literally engulfed in it. And it is the God force love light energy. And all of us, all of those who are suffering, all of their bodies that are being wrapped with all of these shenanigans of all this lower frequency is being dispelled. And remember that in this meditation, as you see it, it is. That's it, period. As you see it, it is. This is not our ego minds. This is the God within us that are all focused, all as one, on all the pain and suffering of this planet. And we're watching as it's being vaporized. And the God light energy within all of those, those bodies that are suffering, shines brighter than it ever has ever beyond and forever. So you're looking at this prism, opalescent shimmering of trillions of colored lights, almost glowing, and like it's, it's beyond any dimension. It's beyond the beyond the beyond. Meta, meta, meta. And you're seeing as the bodies are re-energized, renewed, and cleansed. And it is lifted into pure consciousness. And it is vaporized into nothingness. Focus this. We are all focused in the gods that we are through the heart-mind to lift, vaporize all of these lower dark matter frequencies that have invaded the bodies of all of our brothers and sisters. Watch. Only watch. No judgment, no revenge, no anger. Pure bliss, pure joy, pure happiness, pure peace. I'll join you in the meditation and return to close this up.
remember that your breath is your power in those bodies. So easily draw in a breath through the nose and easily out the mouth. All of us are the ones that are cleansing this planet. Even though some of us have the ego mind front and center trying to convince us otherwise. All the gods within all of us. Literally extinguishing all of these lower vibrational frequencies that have come into the bodies, causing havoc and pain and suffering. Now, we all know this. It isn't a boogeyman. And we're expelling it from all the bodies on and above and below this planet Earth, Gaia, Arya, and this now. All the vaccines and we, all of us collectively on this planet, are ending the anti-civilization. It's being vaporized as in this now. And this God starship that we're all a part of is here and it's not leaving. Visit this meditation as often as you care to before you go to bed, before you wake up, in the morning, during your sleep, believe it or not. We are all vibrating at a much higher frequency this is why all of these remnants of these lower dark matter survivor matter frequencies are in a hectic disarray. And they're being extinguished by the God force love light energy, by our meditative sphere, housing almost 1,500 of our meditations in perpetual motion, by the God force love light energy that is housed in each and every one of us. This is a spectacular happening and it has been engaged and you feel the wave, witness the wave of this energy, softly saturating all life on this planet, this highest supreme value in the universes. We will return here on July 19th, 2021, Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern, to continue our global guided meditation call.